Next, I'm going to show you how to respond to users interacting with your user interface. So first, I'm just going to make sure that my parrot is still jumping over here. Okay, that looks good. And then the next thing I'm going to do is open my layout in Scene Builder because I got to add some stuff, some intelligence to it so that we can make something that will be able to register events, to deal with events that come from here. Okay, so one of the most common um, input controls you, you're gonna use is a text field. So I wanna show you how to use that one. And date picker is not as common. All right, the first thing I have to do is I need to name a controller. What we're looking at here is the view, and you might remember when I was talking about MVC, that stands for Model View Controller. Well, this is the view, and down here, this is the controller. Um, all Scene Builder wants me to do is give this controller a name, and then we're going to make it over an Eclipse. Along with that, I need to, I need to name the elements in my user interface. So I've got I clicked on the image here and then on this right side I have different views there's properties that's where I selected which image it was layout that would tell you like um, where to put the things if you wanted to do it that way rather than drag and drop and then most important for us is this code section over here I'm going to put an FX ID for my image I'm just going to call it image, not too imaginative. I'm also going to name my button and I'm going to name my text field box. Okay, so I've named the elements. Now I want to add a handler to my button. So on button, here in on action, I've got to give a name to the method that's going to react when I press the button. Okay, that's all I need to do in Scene Builder, but I do need to get this stuff over into Eclipse, and the connection between those two is a little tenuous. So this is how you do it. You go to View, and then you say Show Sample Controller Skeleton, and then you gotta copy this and manually paste it over. Sample Skeleton for layout.fxml, and I know that my controller is called Happy Controller. So over here in Eclipse, I need to make the actual Java class, happy controller, and then I'm going to paste that stuff. I've left the package declaration, and everything seems to be happy. It knows what these items are, except for action event. So looks like I've got two options for which to import. Okay, so there's an action event, Java FX event, and there's an action event, java.awt.event. And the second one, that's that swing stuff that I was talking about earlier. We want to make sure to use Java FX. What's gonna happen here is whenever a user presses the button, it's going to call this method. It's magic, and that's called event handling. Okay, so I made some changes. I'm going to save that, and I'm gonna try and run my parrot again. Okay, it's opened the class, but there's nothing showing up. Okay, that doesn't look right because I'm seeing the date picker that I just got rid of. I'm just gonna make sure to do this again. Launcher run as Java application. Still old, what is up with you? Okay, so let's have a look at the layout here and it's showing me image view, date picker is still in there. All right, so I guess when I was over here in Scene Builder, I didn't actually save those changes that I made. So I'm going to go to File, Save. You could also do um, Apple Save for that. And then back into my clips. Now I've got the text field, so that's better. 
Okay, well I tried to run it and it's definitely doing something different, but now I'm getting an error. Okay, so since we learned a little bit about exceptions, um, the root cause here is a load exception. I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom and see that it was caused by a class not found exception, happy controller. All right, so happy controller is not found when we try and run it. So I'm gonna look in the fxml and see happy controller is here. All right, so the problem is that happy controller you'll see is inside the hello fx package. So I'm gonna add that. <laughs> hello fx. And give it a proper, hopefully it will be able to find the controller now. Let's see. Okay, awesome. So now I've got the text field <clears throat> and I've got my parrot and everything's working good. All right, so I put some stuff in there and I'm first thing I'm going to show you how to do is actually get at that information. Okay, so this is a controller. A controller uh, is like the intelligence behind a user interface. So what we're seeing in Scene Builder, that's the view. And what we're seeing here is a controller. The other part of MVC is M for model and that's the data. We don't have a whole bunch of data in this, so we're just gonna be dealing with this, uh, a more simplified version, it's not true MVC. Okay, so let's just see if we can get a SISO to happen when we press the button. Okay, great, that's working. So that means I named all my stuff. Right, which you know is no mean feat. But what we actually wanted to do was we want to get the what was put into this box. So I'm gonna print that out. Box dot so get something, get get what's in there, get get text. Let's try that. Okay. Stop the old one and play it again. Okay, so I have, see the way that information is coming through. This is kind of a pretty core thing um, with user interfaces and controllers and event handling. Okay, if I explain that enough, I think you get it. Press the button, that causes an event. Um, it calls this button pressed method and then you can do stuff. Okay. I'm going to do something a little cooler. I'm going to switch out the image when the button's pressed. Okay, so I have access to the image here because I gave it a name. And I'm going to do image. I'm going to set it to something else. Set image, and that, you can see, takes as a parameter an image. So I'm going to need to create a new image for that. And then it needs the URL to my image. Okay, I'm going to get, I'm going to get an image from my file system, uh, a gnome. And I'm gonna drop it over into my Eclipse project and copy that there. Okay, so let's try gnome. gnome.gif or gif, depending on your political persuasions. Okay, so I'm hoping that this will switch over to my gnome when I click the button. Let's see. No. Okay, that's the basics of event handling. And you can probably guess that I've got a project lined up that's going to help you practice that. I'm rather taken with this project. All right, so on GitHub, you'll see it on my repositories. You want to fork your version and then finish it off. It's called Blue Marble. Okay, so blue marble is hopefully when you're done, it's going to, what am I looking for, blue marble? NASA, that's what I call this. So there exists a web service provided by NASA that will show you 
a photo from space of the Earth every day. So I want you guys to make a user interface that allows the user to specify a date and then it will load the image. All the stuff that calls the web service and gets the image, I've written for you in here. And the instructions for the exercise are here. Make a GUI, and then we're going to do some stuff because we can't access dates in the future, so you can practice your exceptions. Um, and yeah. So I hope you like it. I like it. I think it's beautiful. Um, and then you'll be well on your way to being uh, at least knowledgeable about the fundamentals of JavaFX. All right, have fun, and I'll see you in the next lesson.